When you grow a garden in the middle of the forest, as we do, you can have issues with wildlife. They find the exotic species that we grow, ornamentals, fruit trees, etc., pretty irresistible. And you have to find a solution, a way to separate your garden from the wildlife. And the only real solution is an effective fence. So I'd like to show you the fence that we have chosen. But first, this is an example here of the type of damage that wildlife can do. This is a liquid amber and possums have been at it and have broken branches right down, stripped the top out because this is outside our fence. Now that we have three main wildlife species that are a problem. We have wallabies, which are native here, and they will browse to what they can reach, which is probably no higher than this. We have rabbits, which are introduced, and are a problem at lower levels, nibble the bark down low. Also, the major issue that we have is possums. Now, possums are a native species here in Tasmania. I know in other parts of the world, they're such as New Zealand, they're introduced and an exotic pest. But here they are the native species. And the forest is full of them. And they can climb, they will jump to around one metre. So any wire fence, they will climb it very easily. So keeping them out is quite a challenge and they can really do some damage to trees as you see here. So the fencing solution that we have found works most effective and what we have chosen to use is corrugated iron upright as a fence. Now this provides a nice smooth surface that the possums can't climb. At least 1.2 meters high they can't jump to the top. Because it's also embedded into the ground and buried it also stops rabbits at that level. Has an added benefit as well as that it does keep snakes out because we've made our gates very tight. The snakes here in Tasmania are venomous and so you don't really want to encounter them when you're weeding in the garden. And uh, having young children, we prefer to keep them outside the fence. Now here where it is seen by visitors, I have a bond, which is more attractive. In other areas where the fences are only seen by the wildlife themselves, the possums and the wallabies. I've made it cheaper by utilizing secondhand roofing iron in the same way. The fact that it's less attractive doesn't really worry me there because I'm not looking at it. This type of fencing also has the added benefit of creating microclimates inside it where it's stopping the wind and reflecting the sun. It's really good for growing citrus as you see here behind me and other types of fruits that are a little bit more sensitive. So this is the type of fencing solution that I would recommend. Personally, I believe it is a much better and lower maintenance solution than using wire. I know that you can use a floppy top wire fence to keep possums out, but you actually have to use two layers of wire and by the time you've actually spent the money on that, you're probably better to spend it on this and achieve a better result in the long term. So fencing this way, everybody is happy. The wildlife are happy on the outside and we're happy growing our garden. It's a good solution for everyone.